Right, so this is uh, an Acer uh, Aspire 5920, um, all the classic uh, screen flicker problems that's been uh, uh, plaguing my life for the last oh, 6 to 12 months. Um, it's been intermittent, it went away for about 6 months and then came back. Um, I did make a previous video um, where I sorted out the LCD cable on the back of the, uh, the LCD screen, which uh, just runs in there. Um, and it worked for about a day and a half and then the flickering started again which is very frustrating so what I've done now is I've taken the the, the power board off um, or the power uh, cover off there you can see there's, there's the button Oops, upside down taking that off there it's just a, a few screws which I'll show you on the back now um, and it turns out that the problem if you have a look closely here seems to be this LCD cable. Now I've actually take I've, I've actually reseated this. I noticed last time I took it apart, because I take it apart in like every couple of days now to sort this cable out. Um, that when I pulled it that way, it was causing screen flicker. Um, and if you have a look at the way the uh, the cable, let's try and uh, I can't really focus on that that well, so I'll just pull the camera out a bit. Um, you can see the cable's pulling on the. Uh, all the way on the on the socket there, on the on the plug thing there, um, and that is uh, that's what was causing the problem. So I've taken this, I've, I've reseated the plug, and I've just literally got a piece of um, kitchen towel, a bit Heath Robinson, I know, just but just stuff that in there, um, and fingers crossed that should work. Um, I did. Uh, I, I did uh, take it to a repair centre last week, not because of the screen so much, but well, partly because of the screen, because um, I got so annoyed with the with the screen flicking that I threw the laptop on the floor um, and destroyed the hard drive. It was a bit of a headache. Um, the guy in the laptop repair shop said that he thought it was the inverter. I didn't actually believe him, so like I say, I've taken it apart, and it turns out it's, it, it's not the inverter. The inverter's just just there. You can see it there. That's absolutely fine. Played around with that before. Um, it turns out it's the LCD cable. So uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I'll, I'll put the power cable, uh, power cover back on now um, and show you where the screws go. Um, so if you fancy doing it yourself, you can uh, make your own little home repair. Okay, so I've, uh, I've shut the computer down now. Um, so I'll just show you where the screws go um, to uh, put the to release the uh, the power board, or the power cover. You know the uh, the thing I was just pointing at. Um, one screw in there. This is the hinge hinge end of the laptop. Another screw in there. And then three little screws in the battery compartment. One just there. A bit fiddly, my sausage fingers. Another one there. And then another one there. So let's just turn that back up. Hmm, right, I'll tighten those back up and I'll come Okay, back. so those are all tightened back up. Let's put the, uh, the battery back in. Baby over and fire it back up. Keep your fingers crossed, people, that there's no screen flicker. You notice that uh, where I've taken my screws off, um, there's these little plastic caps that can go back on. Um, I just use Pritt stick. Um, just to glue those back on, so just uh, makes it a little neater. Okay, so I've started it back up. Um, don't think there's any screen flicker. Uh, what I'll do is uh, just give it a bit of a wiggle. Yeah, nothing. Um, if uh, there's no uh, flickering in the next couple of days, I'll, I'll post this on YouTube and uh, you can. Uh, Enjoy the fruits of my labour. Okay, bye for now.